Welcome to Ban in a Box. When you first open Ban in a Box, it opens just like you see on the screen here. Your concern is just at the bottom half of this page, the th stuff that's in blue. Just disregard all of this stuff up on top for right now. The idea here is that these are measures, measure one, two, three, four, so forth. You have a total of 64 measures on page one. If you need to get to more measures, go to page two, page three, page four, and so forth. Most of the time, you're just going to be using page one and page two. To get started, you simply click on the first chord and type in your chord. For my song, I have an A minor here, so I'm going to type in A, M, and hit return. I'll hit return again to move the cursor on to measure two, and in measure two, my chord here is a D minor, so D, M. Return, return. This measure, it's an F chord, so I hit an F, type in an F, return, return, and in this measure, it should be a G chord. However, I'm going to make a mistake here and type in an F instead so that I can teach you how to correct mistakes. So to correct this mistake, just use your cursor, move it back to the F chord, type in a G, hit return again. You can type over a chord. If you want to uh, delete a chord completely, if you cursor back over it, hit the space bar followed by return, that should delete the chord. Next, once you have your chords in, you turn your concern to this white box up here. Again, forget all of this garbage up here. This is what matters. Click on Untitled. Give your song a name. And set your tempo. You can either set your tempo manually here, or you can click on the metronome four times. One, two, three, four, at the speed of which you want your song to go. If this box is checked, embellish chords, that means that the virtual pianist who's going to play this song is going to throw in some cool stuff and embellish chords like us piano players do. Then click OK. Now the fun starts. Below your title is a uh, style of a song called ZZ Jazz Style. That's the default. Click on it. It opens up a window, and I'm going to scroll over here. And you can see all the different categories of styles that you can choose. Blues, classical, folk, hip-hop, funk, jazz, you name it. For my song, I'd like to use country ballads, I think. Once I choose that, you'll notice the middle column here shows every type of country style, or country ballad, including Faith Hill or, um, gosh, Nora Jones, you name it. It's all here. And you can scroll down. There's literally hundreds and hundreds of different styles here. For this song, I'll make it easy. I'm just going to use a folky top 40 ballad type of a style. A little trick here is that if you, can dub if you double click on the style, it will play that style in this screen so you can get kind of a feel for it so you don't have to be constantly going back and forth. Just double click on it. Then if you move over to the right, you can see all the properties in dealing with this style. This is a mar modern country ballad. Uh, artists like Brad Paisley. So this song's going to include piano, bass, drums, acoustic guitar, electric guitar. And it's perfect for tempos in the 75 to 90 range. I think my tempo was a 79 up here, so this should work great. <coughs> Tunes like uh, I Swear, I Walk Alone, uh, things like that. And then when you're all through, just click OK. This takes you back to your main screen, counts it off, and plays it for you. stop your music. Not the greatest instrumentation in the world, but at least you can hear your progression and hear kind of a, a style great for songwriting. Again, turn your focus to this box. Working to the right, currently your song's in the key of C, 
I'm going to leave it in the key of C, but if you did want to transpose it, you could move it to here and choose a different key if you wanted to. At this stage, I don't want to transpose my lead sheet, so I say no. Moving over here, this is uh, my tempo here, 79. You know, I think it's a little bit slow, so I can click to the right of it and bump it up. I think maybe 86 might be a little bit better speed for this song. This is really important in the parentheses here. It has 1 through 32, so it defaults to a 32-bar song form. Uh, my song is only four measures long. So to set that length of my song, I just click on the 32 and then click on the number four, the fourth measure, and that puts the four into here. So the music now knows that my song is only four measures long. Your songs will be much lo uh, longer than that. This three here, it defaults to playing your song three times. I just want my song to play once. So there it is, and I've got my song done. Now I want to save it. So if I go up to File menu and I choose Save Song, I can just choo choose Save here, and it saves my song as MikeSong.SGU. And that's how you get chords and put chords into Band in a Box.